So here we are at the last stop on our journey. We have literally crossed Italy and seen some beautiful places on the way. And of course, we've had a really good time with these BRP vehicles. From the Alps to the sea, to mooring our motor dinghy with its Evinrude engines in the little port of Venasa. So, Rodolf, where are we off to now? Now we're off on a jolly ride, side by side. It looks fun to drive. When are you going to give me a go? Just wait. I'm taking you to somewhere where friends are waiting to do a great ride. And there's one with your name on it. Wow, look at all these. And everyone is nicer than the next. So, Rodolf, what is next? Now we're off to the mountains for a spectacular ride. And which of these modes of transport are we going to take? Well, you take the new Maverick and I'll take the Commander. The Maverick is the more sporty model, the Commander more practical. Baggage is protected in this collapsible box. You have no idea how this thing drives. It's a little off-road, easy, reactive to your every move. It's two or four-wheel drive, so you can manage any situation. I can't quite tell what the limit is because even when I'm leaning a lot, it's still very stable. I can assure you I have no experience with vehicles like this, but you don't have to. Two seconds and you're at ease. The driver's seat too, it's so comfortable, close to the steering wheel. There are no gears, just an accelerator, brake, so anyone could drive it. Well, if you wanted to make me have fun, you've succeeded. Ready to climb a mountain. Anyone know what's behind us? Going down. Even the bumpiest descent is easy. And going up? Let's try. The side-by-side -side is made for two people, but it's fun even by yourself, eh? And now a group of friends to share our Apennine mountain experience. With Rodolf, I was frightened. But it was fun. And now it's my turn. Four wheel drive and onto the snow. It's such a toy, a go kart, except this goes everywhere with no limits. Very, very much fun. OK, you can get a bit wet, and there's a bit of spray, but that's part of the game. You can make it spin forever.
Maurizio, why have you stopped? How do you go forward? Have you got a boat? No. Okay, time to go then. This is such a fun toy to drive. Needless to say, I don't have to tell you about the suspension. You've seen how much of it works, and it keeps balanced. I need to say, though, this is the most powerful in the world. We have come to the end of our trip. We started off in the Alps with Rodolf, Madonna di Campio to be exact. We rode BRP's quad bikes on the snow pistes. Francesca took us to the Trentino woods and showed us how simple the quads were to drive there. Then we came down to Garda, where two Sea-Do bikes awaited. They were so much fun to drive, and the way they performed, plus the fact they were so easy to manoeuvre, it truly amazed me. And then I discovered the brake, very useful and exclusive to BRP. We found out how the water bike is an ideal way to navigate and explore in restricted areas like Castle Moats. And then it was wonderful to try out BRP's spiders, which aren't cars or bikes. They are something unique and extraordinary and just need to be tried out. We started at Sermione on Lake Garda, went along the Mincio River to Mantova, and the more miles that passed, the more fun I had. The Paso del Cisa curves were the best. In Porto Venere, we clambered on board a luxury 930 dinghy created by NV Marine for BRP, motorised with two Evinrude 300 horsepower E-Tech outboard engines. We pushed it up to 60 knots and admired the Cinque Terre from the sea, meeting up with dolphins along the way. But then the mountains called again and rode off, let me try the side-by-side Can-Am. We climbed the Apennines and had fun off-road. I've never driven one before, but it wasn't difficult at all. Through mud, snow and even through a river. On my travels, I realized that you always need to know where you are going, but more importantly, how to enjoy yourself along the way. A bit like life, and BRP is an expert in that.